If you're a regular subscriber to this channel, you probably watched a video yesterday about the Bean Wars, and we've actually done that video before. However, we fucked up the audio. So, Brad's now going to show you a couple of clips of the video from yesterday, side by side with the original recording. I'm going to be honest, I'm a black hole of charisma when we first did this. So I was not good, was I? I could have never made it as an actor. Just because we're doing a video on baked beans doesn't mean you need to eat beans. I know, but I'm a fan of baked beans, so we might as well. Let's give it a go. Why are they brown? They look like they've already got brown sauce in, but they haven't got brown sauce in them. Oh dear. <laughs> so, promotions. One of the best ways for retailers to get customers through the door. Sales, bang it on free, McDonald's fucking Monopoly. The best. Fucking awesome. But they can get kind of ridiculous, and I think the best one is a time in the 90s a store sold baked beans for negative two pence. Promotions are a crucial tool in the retailer's arsenal to get customers through the front door. For example, consider that time shops in the UK literally sold beans for negative money. So in the 90s, some of the bigger, more established stores like Tesco and Morrison's, they were seeing their profits dip because of an invasion of other stores like, you know, Netto's and Aldi. They were selling the same shit they did but cheaper with a hilarious off-brand name. In the 90s, in the UK, some of the larger store chains started to see their profits dip when they noticed that there was an influx of larger mega stores selling the same shit they did, only cheaper with a hilarious off-brand name. So where do beans come into this then? Beans come into this because they were one of the items that were most heavily discounted and they literally made headlines. You could find headlines back in the 90s where they began selling for seven pence a tin. And that was a price not seen in the UK since the 70s, so obviously. That was quite big news, because you can't sell something for less than I think they sold their carry bags for at the time. Right, we should probably talk about Right, yeah, we should talk about baked beans now. These superstores selling cheap products literally made headlines in the UK when they started selling baked beans for seven pence a tin. About ten cents in your inferior American money. Shots fired. I repeat, shots fired. Actual headline. Yeah, I'm not making that up. Um, when these stores started selling baked beans for 7p, that made headlines because that wasn't a price that had been seen in the UK for that particular product since the 70s. So how do the biggest stores compete with this well, then? The biggest stores collectively shit their fucking pants because thousands of customers were going to the other stores to buy their weekly shopping for a few pence cheaper. And the only thing they could do to compete was lower the price of their own own brand beans. So they were selling those for 6 pence a tin. So we're trying to lure customers back with delicious, delicious, own brand shit. The 90s were very weird. The bigger, more established stores in the UK collectively shit their pants at this news and rushed to discount their own own brand beans for a similar price. So no one's actually going to make any money doing this though? Oh no, that's the point. It's a concept in business known as a loss leader. You'll see it in virtually any industry they sell shit. They will intentionally sell some things for less than the price it costs them. So things like bread and milk in stores are always sold at a loss or at cost to get you through the door to buy them. And once you through the door, they'll make that money back selling you other crap that you don't need. Like if you're in Aldi, those deck chairs they for some reason have in the middle lane. And obviously like, a lot of people asking, well, how are these companies making money? And the question is, they're not making any money at all on these babies. In fact, they're losing money with every can they sell. But the fact that you run in and buy 10 tins of beans, think, well, I'm here now, I'll get the rest of my week shopping. That's where they make their money. And these are what stores call loss leaders, which is basically where you sell something at a loss or at cost, with the idea being you'll make the few pence you lose for like every loaf of bread you sell for however many pence, you'll make it back on luxury items that you sell. So it got to the point where a week's worth of shopping could be bought for the handful of change you could pull out the folds of a couch. Or, if you prefer, your mother's back fat as she rolled around on said couch. And your mother, your not, mother. not my mum. My mum's nice. Your mum. She's a fat cow. Right, I'm not talking to anyone. You. Your mum. Your fucking mum. I'm sure she's a lovely woman. She brought you into the world and now you're watching my videos. So you, you must have like, she must have raised you right enough to want to seek out good entertainment. But no, fuck your mum. Someone did. I don't know why. <laughs> It got to the point where beans were so cheap, they were literally spending more money paying the shelf stacker in the 30 seconds to put them on the shelf and they were making money they got back from selling them for the price. Neither side would back down and stores continued to slash the price of everyday essentials until baked beans were selling for so little they were literally paying staff more in the few seconds it took to put them on shelves than they make back in money by selling them. It was ridiculous. It was chaos. Saucy, bean-covered chaos. Man, that'd be that'd be a great war. <laughs> what is bought? Wouldn't wars be so much better fought with baked beans? 
Then they'd find a way to make the beans more dangerous. Uh, uh, yeah, They're like I'll poison cook. beans. I'll cook them. <laughs> you have to spill paint. Oh fucking hell. That is a nightmare. We've tried doing that. The spilling beans? Oh yeah. I like so I cook a lot of my shirts off. Curse. I've well, got I've got a mirrored surface on the back of my oil then. And I have once I've bean juice splatter up oh god, I thought I'm gonna die. Do you ever see the alien where he spits the acid in his face? It's like that, but at ten times worse. Cause it's happened to me. <laughs> I, I thought I was gonna die. I saw the light. It's like tell my wife I love her, please. <laughs> it's awful, awful. So no in in closing, wars would not be better for with baked beans. I received my earlier comment. I apologise for stupidity. <laughs> Right, next bit. Yes. Reaches climax. Bit. Three pence a tin. Um, I don't reach climax and stuff costs three pence. <laughs> Although I probably would if I was in a stop. If I saw, to be honest, mate, I would reach climax if I saw a tin of beans for three pence because I fucking love beans. <laughs> Why did you say it reaches climax? It's just right here. The price war reaches climax. Stop saying climax. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I'm crying. Do you know what? I'm so sad about these beans. <laughs> It's gonna look like I'm crying because beans don't cost three pence anymore. So that sounds like it's getting really ridiculous. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it all came to a head though when Tesco announced to the press we're gonna sell baked beans for three pence a tin. Assuming no one else in the country had the balls to go lower. Someone did. And that man was Chris Sanders. So how did this come to an end? Well Tesco thought they put an end to it by announcing to the press that they would sell baked beans for three pence a tin, quietly confident that no one else in the entire country would have the balls to sell baked beans for less than they did. They barely had time to announce this before the scraping sound of the balls of a guy called Chris Sanders carved their way through the pavement as he approached the newspaper and said, I can go even lower. So in a move so out of left field, a man called Chris Sanders, a hero some might say, walked into the fray and said, I will sell baked beans for negative two pence. Fuck you, Tesco. He didn't say that, but it was implied. Not a major amount, but when you're selling beans for negative money, you are literally paying customers to take them away. He was losing money. He could have made infinite more money by dumping these baked beans directly into the trash. Negative two pence. He would have actually been better off just dumping his entire stock straight into the back, right into the bin. Did this actually work? It did work, yeah, because obviously, free beans. No, not even free beans. You are getting paid to take them away from the store. So his business with his tiny little corner store actually saw a massive increase for the week they did the promotion. And he was a hero that ended the bean wars. I'm guessing no one went lower. No one went lower, no. Um, it's noted that Chris Sanders, negative two pence stunt, was the end of what has come to be known by economists as the bean wars. All right, so let's do another like, comment, subscribe thing. Mm -hmm. What do you want to do? Well, you put the beans down for a start. I'm hungry. You said you, said you didn't like the beans. Yeah, well, I'm not going to waste them. You know, like, I'm going to council this state. This shit's my dinner. You've got to relax, man. Eat some beans. Show you right out. I would, but you're eating my beans. I know, it's great, isn't it? I'm in your house. Yeah. You owe me 20p. Fuck you. Don't worry, I'm not going to start eating these beans. You can like, you can comment, you can subscribe if you want. Like, I'm just going to eat these beans. I won't recommend them. <laughs> I recommend these videos, they're pretty cool. These beans, thanks for watching guys. Do I like about that take? The energy. <laughs> he just looks so uninterested. <laughs> He's enjoying I'm not interested, I don't give a fuck. We've stopped recording, you can stop eating the beans. This is, a, this is someone's page. <laughs> Man in Hawaiian shirt quietly eats beans. Cool. Yeah, I think we're done. I think, yeah, I think we are. Yeah. Now you probably thought that was pretty bad, but it's nothing compared to the first video we did, which was fucking awful. And I promised myself that would never see the light of day. However, Brad has convinced me that if we get to, how many was it? 10,000. 10,000 subscribers. He will upload the first video I ever recorded where it had no tangents, no asides, and it was just me reading my article directly to the camera. And cock. <laughs> I don't want to see that because I, I can't watch it myself because I cringe when I see it. I, I'm going to be honest with you, like, you're probably thinking, how bad is it? Just, it's as bad as you're thinking, 
but a little bit worse. Because I'm, uh, there's a thing I do and I remember, and I squint. So I spend the entire, the entire video squinting at the camera because I'm trying not to make any facial recognition. <laughs> because I'm squinting like this because I'm at my head thinking and looking to the side. So in my head I'm thinking, if I squint, no one can see that I'm thinking. <laughs> oh my God. Oh.